<clears throat> so what's up guys it's me reese and today i'm going to be talking about the reason why i got kicked out from my old school well i didn't really get kicked out my mom took me out you know what to do and so basically what happened was that, let me start from like the reasons of like the three like the, 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 the problems that i had with the school like i'm just gonna say the school now Wilton academy don't ever go to it it's like the one of the worst schools to go to to be honest and basically the problems that I had with it was well there was no support pretty much it was all against me and etc etc so let me get into the reason why so the three weeks prior before get like two I'd say a week prior so this is where it starts to get very very hilarious so basically what happened was I got blamed for throwing a stone at a kid named Ryan and I don't I, that that's his real name by the way and I don't really care about saying his name because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say like basically the full thing but basically I flipped up a tin foil in the air and like everyone was like throwing apples at him I'm not gonna say the people that was doing it just in case I get in trouble for saying it even though I already explained uh, the kid's name but you know whatever And so basically, I threw like tin foil in the air, and then he told like the school saying that I apparently threw, I apparently wrapped a stuck rock in tin foil and threw it straight at his head, and apparently his head was like cut or whatever, which was a lie. And basically, like the school didn't know until like that's one of the reasons why what happened. But then like a week later. So I was like skiving a lot. A lot of people know this at my school because I generally hate, I hated the lessons. I hated everything about that school. And I still do, I hate it even more. I do not suggest going to there, as I've already said. Anyway, so then what happened was I skived on a day. Like skiving is basically where you just don't go to the lesson at all. You don't go to your lesson. You just go somewhere else. So basically, I just I went to the school. I went in for like a few minutes, and I was like, you know what? I'm kind of I'm I'm angry at something. I can't remember what exactly what I was angry at, but I just remember being angry. So I left the school, and then basically, well, actually no, before that, I remember seeing these like writings in the toilet in this toilet. I don't know. Let me just. <laughs> This is just a load of random bit. Let me just restart this. So basically, I was skiving in this disabled toilet that's bit that was... It said it had a sign in it for like the past three years now. Where it's, it says, oh yeah, you can't access this, even though you can. There's nothing wrong with the toilet. Which is kind of hilarious, really. And so I used to just skive in there sometimes. And so this day, I remember just seeing these a load of writings of like... Just some weird writings. And then I put something saying... Oh, ha ha lol, ha ha, yeah man, as like a joke, because I thought it was kind of funny and kind of a meme. And the people that like know me know what that's from. It's from TGF, if you know who they are, but anyway. I re remember writing that, writing that down, and I remember seeing a load of like Ryan saying, Reese Johnson, you turn, kill yourself. And I thought it was hilarious, kind of. But whoever read it, you're just a sicko. Like, why would you write that about me? But whatever, anyway. So I was just there. I, I didn't tell anyone. I thought it was just kind of hilarious. And so basically, because I didn't come into the school the next day either. Like, I just was like, you know what? I, I'm just, I, I was like super pissed at something, really. And then what happened was when, <clears throat> what? I bit, sorry, I, just, I thought my mum was calling me. And then basically, I just remember... That I get, I got like a th like a thousand calls, like over like fifty calls from my mum, from some unknown callers, and I was like, okay, what the hell's going on? Did they like find the writing and what what what's happening? So I just remember that basically, oh, I just thought it was hilarious. I, was, I didn't want to answer because I I knew my I thought my mum was just very angry with me because I didn't go into the, into school because I had these problems with going into school and whatnot. So, what happened was, the school basically took pictures of, like, the 
the writings and they send them they showed them to my mum and then said that the writing was mine it looks exactly like mine which no it didn't I got blamed for something I did not do. They basically told my mum saying that I possibly could have killed, that I could possibly killed myself. And they led it to, because I have mental issues, like, well, pretty much everyone does. I have, like, mental issues, and because I couldn't, I, a few years ago, I, my nan died, which she was one of the closest mem family members. And I still, like, I do have, like, some odd times where I, I will, like, remember completely everything by the number, like, there's a weird, depressed state. But like basically I used to hear a voice which was like a few months after when she died and my mum asked basically can we like grieve the school said no because you know the, the dicks and assholes I'm just gonna say her name Miss Brumby okay she hated me the whole the all the pretty much most of the teachers hated me I could get I could literally tell the truth if I got into a fight and they could I, the person could be like that if I got into a fight with they he'd literally call my mum a slag and I'd own up to them saying it and then they'd be like oh yeah but you throw the punch first and then I'd get put in like isolation or whatever anyway I'm go kind of going off topic a bit so basically I they basically led that up and because I met like I read, read like this poem that was about life and death they basically put that all together and said oh yeah Reese is gonna kill himself so they called the police told my mum my mum's obviously like worried and freaking out. They basically just lied, and they they just tried to cover up the ass, really. Like, why would I tell? I I'm very open with my mum. I'm very close to my mum and my sister, so I pretty I pretty much would tell them if I have suicide thoughts. <coughs> Excuse me. So they basically lied and said that it was all my writings and whatnot. And so I got like over a 50 like missed calls and I got texted saying, oh, pick, please pick up your phone. You won't be in any trouble. Please come home. And I was like kind of freaked. I was like, wait, why is my mom not like mad at me? Or why is like, why do I keep getting these on caller IDs? And I was like, I'm not going to answer them because I'm a bit weirded out. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have any idea. Like I really did not have any idea. So then basically, I came home like a few hours, like like an, two hours later, because it was like a few hours before school was finished. And I remember my mum basically telling me everything. They sh she showed me the pictures and I basically laughed. I burst out laughing. And I was like, well, that's, that's, not, my, that's not mine. And she was like, I knew that it wasn't yours. But she was still worried because she's going to be worried because, you know, the school's basically said that I'm going to kill myself. And then the police, like a few, like my mum basically had a go at the school on the phone and she pulled me out from the school because of like that reason. And the hilarious thing is the school, they sent police over twice in the same day for two different reasons. One, because they basically said that I'm going to kill myself. And two was because I apparently threw a rock at a kid called Ryan. And I was just there like, wow. Is that is that how small-minded the school really is? Like I'm, I be, like I'm not saying that I'm like smart, like the smartest kid in the world. I'm definitely, I'm far from that. But like they basically, they basically lied, pretty much, and I find it hilarious. But anyway, if you, if that's that's the reason. The reason why I told you about this is because a few, a lot of people was asking me, like when I basically said, oh yeah, I'm not coming to the school anymore. So I just wanted to clear it up. But anyway, if you like this, please like and subscribe, and my, and go to, go follow me on Instagram because and my Snapchat if you want to. Links in the script. Well, not links in the description because I don't know how to do that. I'll just put them in the description, the names, and yeah, peace.